hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm here again with one more video and here i'm going to work on one another problem from hacker and series so i have already worked on a lot of problems and i have created a lot of videos on that so today we are going to continue yet another problem java list and this is from the subdomain data structures and today we are going to solve this but before we do that if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do it's a simple and easy one step process that you just have to hit that red subscribe button that's all you have to do now let's see what this problem says so uh, this is a very basic uh, problem as per uh, hacker rank and here uh, we will get to know about two methods from linked list one being remove method and another being add method so add method is again overloaded and there are a uh, few uh, overloaded methods that we have so here we are going to see two of them so let's first see what this problem says so here if you see that first we have to insert uh, y at index x so it, let's say if we have x and y pair given to us then we have to insert y which means y is the data that we have to insert and x is the uh, uh, index on which we have to insert right so there is a method for that specifically in our list so we will use that second is that we have to delete the element at index x so again there is a method for for this so uh, tricky part is that what they will do is the first line will be the number of uh, elements in the list right so it says five so that means that there are going to be five elements in the list then they are going to be q queries so here queries means that the number of operations that we have to do so here th uh, they have given us only two insert and delete but there could be multiples right so here uh, when when they say insert we have to insert right but here the numbers are opposite like this is the one that we have to insert and at this index and at this index we have to delete so considering this as an example so here if we have to add so fifth index is not here so if you start from here it starts from 0 so 0 1 2 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 comes after 12 right so there you will insert 23 after 12 now we have to delete from 0th index so 12 will get deleted so now we will get this plus this newly inserted data 23 so that's what we have to do so it's simple enough we just have to know a uh, few methods and that's all so first we have to get the data from the input uh, user so we will again use scanner okay now uh, we know that the first line is going to be the number of uh, elements going to be inside our list so we need that because we have to iterate till we fill our list right so that's why we need this number so we will do sc.nextInt after getting this we need to create a list so I'll just simply do uh, array list now we have to fill this so we will have to iterate till we reach n so here I'll start from 0th you can start from 1 also up to you i less than n i plus plus right so here what we are going to do is we know that till this loop is iterating we are going to get the data for our list so we need to add till this iteration completes so we will just do sc dot next int so now we have a list from the second line now we know that the third line is going to be the number of queries given to us or the number of operations that we have to do so here we will create a, one another variable similar to n q so next int so here again we have to iterate right because that's why we stored this variable this value so now here we will iterate from 0 to q here what we need to do is see when we have the number of queries we know that there are going to be two things 
first line is going to be the operation that we have to do so it could be either or it could, it could be delete so we have to have a if condition for that so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to check for the one and put the rest to like put the another one in else we don't have to check both of them so I'll just say if sc dot so like I know that the next line is going to be a string so for that you can simply use sc dot next right so you can either create a variable or you can directly search for it in the if condition so for the simplification I'm going to do a string op as an operation goes to sc dot next and here I'll just check if op dot equals insert otherwise it is a delete right so if it is a insert or if it, a, it is a else we have to one thing which is common in both the index the first uh, for the first um, integer is going to be the index here it has fifth number or fifth index here it has zeroth so we know that this is going to be common so we can simply do int index on top of if else int index equals to sc dot next int now in case of insert we have the data in case of delete we don't have anything so in case of insert I'm going to do int data equals to sc dot next int or I can directly add this to the list right so there's a method here we used add where we are going to give only one parameter here we are going to do two so you can look at the oracle documentation for more details but yeah you should know about few methods so here the first value the first parameter should be your index and the second should be your data right so data is in uh, data so i'll do this and in case of remove we have remove method sorry in case of delete we have remove method and here we just have to do index now when we do all of this we have to print the data and see this if we directly print the list it is going to be separated by a comma and it is going to be enclosed in brackets so we don't have to do that so rather we have to iterate one more time so we will iterate one more time and we'll do int item or data whatever you want to do uh, list and then we are simply going to do system dot out here we don't uh, need to do print ln because if we do that it is going to print the data in each line which we won't which we don't want so we need to do print and here we will just do item and then we will separate it by space so if you run this now it should work fine so as you can see it is working fine uh, let's try to submit so yeah it was simple code uh, it's just that we need to have some grasp of some known methods in our already provided classes or interfaces right so that is what we did so this is it for this video i hope the explanation was clear if not you can ask your query in the comment section so this is it for this video i hope i will meet you in the next one till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye